You know, there are so many farmers here, fifth, sixth generation farmers to learn from, and they're the best teachers around. Lisa and Mike Davis would be first to admit they needed a bit of mentoring when they started out here. They knew the neighbors might have been a bit skeptical. How could you not be? Here's a <laughs> city kid coming, doesn't know anything, he's gonna start a dairy farm and be successful and create a product on top of it. Yeah, go ahead. So they did. In 2012, the couple left their corporate jobs in New York and moved to Chelsea, Vermont, where they bought this 81-acre farmstead and a small herd of dairy goats with the goal of creating and marketing their own goat milk gelato. What kind of reactions did you get from friends, family? There was always a little bit of that, you're crazy. There's just no day off, and you don't really run the show here. The animals do, so you're always on call and you're always working. They also found out an unlikely favorite goat snack. So this is what you get when they're done with them. Who knew that goats loved Christmas trees like that? More importantly, the new farmers have found a new home and a community here. It's the first time I can truly say it's home. Even if we didn't do this, I don't think I could leave. Not that they'll need to. Their goat milk gelato is now being carried by several major retailers. Not bad for first-time dairy farmers. Sweet dough dairy vanilla gelato. 13 years in the making. It's good. It's good, right? Flavor and texture. It's hard to beat, and it all starts with the sweet little girls that we raise here. we meet an artist and fashion designer who specializes in sustainable textiles that are fit for royalty. Queen Alote Papo is founder of Queen Adeline, a sustainable clothing company. I have made a commitment to just biodegradable fibers. Most of our clothing are buried, like for lack of proper way of disposal, they are put into landfills. And each year, these landfills keep growing and so <laughs> I joke with my customers I tell them I like to think that if my clothing should find themselves in the earth they would be at peace and they'll be one with the earth because eventually it will biodegrade. As passionate as she is about sustainable designs Queen's entrance to the fashion world wasn't planned. My first degree was in political science. I wanted to be a legislator. Originally from Ghana, Queen moved to Boston to be with her husband. While waiting for her work visa, she found herself with nothing to do. I got to pause and think about what I really wanted to do. She began ordering fabric from Ghana and launched Queen Adeline. When I see the fabrics from back home, I feel like I'm home and I can share a piece of me with the world. Her design methods, a bit unconventional. I don't go to the design table with like sketches. It's like I sit here and I look at this fabric and I'm like, what do you want to be made into? She values craftsmanship and works to ensure each piece is perfect, down to the last stitch. If I'm asking people to be sustainable in their closets, to keep clothing forever, it should be able to stand the test of time. I am creating wearable art for the everyday woman. Making something extraordinary out of something simple is one of Queen's talents. We asked her for her expert help in styling a simple scarf. Very easy. Tie this. Okay, now this is what makes it more fun because I am a fiber artist. I love sculptural pieces. I always want something sticking out. So imagine this and voila. All of a sudden, doll sweater is adorned and you have a sculpture piece on your neck. I'm gonna make a very fancy bow. You wanna make one inch longer, two thirds here and then one third there. And then for the two thirds part, you half it, get that bow here. And then you go in like that, depending on how dramatic you want to be for the day. <laughs> Not only is Queen enthusiastic about bringing color into drab wardrobes, she wants to educate women about their closet. When people come to the studio, it's like a visit with a queen. <laughs> it goes beyond just fashion. For me, this is empowerment. This is also helping people to make choices. By the time we are done, they are like excited about that notion of bringing a piece of sustainability into their closet. 
Well, and as we mentioned, Queen had plans to be a legislator. Mm. She had an undergrad degree in political science and a grad degree in human resource management, but the fashion world won out in the end. I called her. I had a call. <laughs> uh, back to Sweet Doe uh, Gelato. Mike Davis is a Navy veteran in the farm, participates in the Homegrown by Heroes program, which helps farmers who are veterans. The gelato, by the way, can be bought at the farm. You can meet them or in stores throughout New England. Awesome. All right, next, going strong in the Granite State.